Okay, a question I get a lot is from guys who have bought a Kestrel or another ballistic solver. They've trued their drops at their home range, and then they're getting ready to go on a hunt or a shoot or something at a, at a, at a location that is vastly different than the location that they zeroed their gun at. What it comes down to is, will the Kestrel or will my ballistic solver account for it, or do I have to change something? Now, you'll notice that when you go into your Kestrel and set it all up, there is no place to enter uh, the conditions that you zeroed in. You just put your sight height over bore, you put your muzzle velocity, you put the distance that you zeroed it at, and you walk away from it. There's your gun profile. There is no place to enter zero conditions because they don't matter. Uh, you know, the whole job of this tool is to let you take a shot anywhere, any place, any time, and it automatically accounts for the conditions. That's its job. That's what makes this thing so useful. Now, your gun and your ammunition is a whole nother story. Uh, you know, it's, it, I think it's hard to mess up a rifle. I've checked zeros on my rifles from 1,000 feet above sea level, middle of the summer, up to, I think, 6,800 is as high as I go here in Idaho hunting. And I've actually checked 100-yard zeros in those two conditions, and I've never seen one different. You know, I've shot a three-shot group before I left the house or at my other range that I shoot at where it's 1,000 feet, and then I've driven up to where I fall bear hunt at 6,800 feet and shot another three-shot group, and they were all landing on top of each other. So I don't think that elevation has any difference or any influence over your basic 100 yard mechanical zero now your ammunition is another story temperature can definitely influence it so be sure to test your ammunition under all the conditions you expect to shoot it in and it doesn't care how high off the ground you are the air pressure isn't going to affect the muzzle velocity so uh, short answer is no let your tool let this tool do the work for you but make sure your rifle and ammunition are right